Greetings, Earthlings. Today, we'd like to talk about a space station. No, not that one. The International Space Station, or ISS. For about 20 years now, this low-orbit spacecraft has been a laboratory for scientists keen to learn about life in space. But even when you're floating miles above the Earth's surface, it turns out astronauts need shut-eye just like the rest of us. So how exactly does that work? Rest assured, the answer is within our orbit. Welcome to Al Connected's General Knowledge. So, let's get a few facts out of the way first. As the name suggests, the ISS is an international program. The two main partners are the United States and Russia, but the European Space Agency, Japan, and Canada are also involved. The craft itself has 16 interconnected pressurized modules, sort of like rooms in a hotel. It is designed to carry a six-person crew, but that crew is split across a pair of two or three-person groups called expeditions. These expeditions overlap with one another, so that when a new one arrives, it's halfway through the previous one's stay. That way, there's always a crew on board taking care of the station. The ISS moves in what is called low orbit. That's about 400 kilometers above the Earth's surface and it travels at over 17,000 kilometers an hour, completing an orbit of the planet once every 92.68 minutes. So when you have over 15 sunrises and sunsets all within 24 hours, how exactly do you get a good night's sleep anyway? Turns out it's not all that hard. After you get in your space jammies, yes, they have space jammies on the ISS, you enter your sleeping pod. This is kind of like a personal closet-sized space, like a snoozing locker. Inside is a sleeping bag that's anchored to the wall, kind of like a wearable blanket. You zip yourself in, and it's sweet dreams. And no need for mattresses or pillows, either. In microgravity, you can just kind of hang there and drift away. Well, not literally drift away. Then they'll wake up refreshed and ready for another day's work on the space station. Save for maybe a short trip to the bathroom. But that's another video. Thanks for watching, and be sure to follow us so that you don't miss out on the next episode of General Knowledge.